welcome back everyone. I hope you're doing well. Um, I'm using my iPad again because that uploaded really nice on my um, YouTube. So I'm probably going to be using this for a while. And I really like the camera, uh, the look of the camera. And back at home, my bedroom, bedroom I share with my husband. And I got my BoxyCharm. Came on Saturday while we were gone. And so I thought I would go through some of the products with you. Um, yeah, I've got a little face wipe here in case I do swatches. Made myself a little bit of a homemade iced coffee. I put some concealer and I was talking about the corrector in my last video. This is the corrector that I really love. It's by Tarte. Oh, that's really big. And it's a Tarte CC under eye corrector and I use the light medium. I tend to get darkness. It's uh, hereditary and also I have asthma so that doesn't help either. So me and my friends <laughs> came to see you to do a little video and let's get started. So I'm going to just pull out what's on the card. The boxy charm card is really cute. They're talking about spa, glamping, sunbathe, yoga, slumber. And those s'mores look delicious. So I'm trying to get myself in the middle here. First thing that they talk about on the back of this card, and they also list the prices, and I'll give you the prices and then towards the end of the video I've added everything up and we'll see if it was worth it. Okay, this product first thing is the QMS Medi Cosmetics Active Glow Tinted Day Cream. And I'm not going to read the whole uh, description because it'll take too long, but it's uh, retail price is 105 and this is what it looks like. And I thought I would put some of the products on for you and kind of give a first impression. I haven't been wearing a lot of foundation, but this should be lightweight. Looks kind of dark, but a lot of these tinted, like, um, what do you call it? BB creams, or what is this called? A Active Glow Tinted Day Cream. A lot of them look darker than they are when you put them on your face. And I'm going to put a little bit more. Have a little bit of bigger circumference, bigger face, so sometimes I need more than a pump. Feels very nice and moisturizing. Not greasy at all, really. And it really does give a nice glow like that. So I slept late today, so I have my CPAP <laughs> uh, little marks from the just got a little makeup wipe. I don't ever use makeup wipes to take off the makeup. I use them to clean off my hands when I'm doing makeup. Okay, so we'll see how this goes. This is the tinted day cream. I'm trying to see if it has an SPF. Uh, lightweight sheer color, blah, blah, blah. Contains a sunscreen to protect color, but it doesn't have like how much. And on the description, it doesn't say idea day cream, but I would prefer if it said how much of a sun protection that it had. And underneath, I'm wearing a 30 anyway. So for me, that's good. But yeah, feels nice. First impression, pretty good. Okay, the next one is the Violet Boss Essentials 2 palette. And I did get the vinyl, or vinyl, <laughs> Violet Boss Essentials 1 palette a while back. This is the packaging. And it comes like in a heavy cardboard box. I'm going to save the cardboard for recycling because I don't want to put it there, so just drop it. So, Violet Boss Pro Series Eyeshadow and Press Pigment Palette. And it comes with a mirror, which is nice. And I'm going to just turn it this way. Oh, the plastic's really heavy-duty plastic on there. And these are the colors. 
I really like them. I like that that has like a dark beige, a brown, a dark brown. It's got a little bit of shimmer. A little matte, a little shimmer. Looks good. Let's try it. Okay, I'm just going to take this brush here and I'm going to go in first with the first color that I'm picking, which is beige. I am going to put it, I'm going to use my little mirror here too because it'll bring me closer. So that's what that little white thing is. Put that down. It's a little bit later in the day, but I thought I'd pop on here. Just put this and then move the lid. Nice. Gives it a little bit of a color. Then the next one I'm going to use is the color that is called clay. And I'm going to take a blending brush like this. Now the violet flosses are a little powdery, but I don't mind them because they have nice pigmentation and they blend really nice. I could use the mirror on here. It's probably better, so let's push that back. Get to see it better. Putting that in the crease, kind of flipping that up like I usually do. And then I'm going to pick a different type of color to go maybe like on the outer corner. I'm going to do this wild orchid. Let's see how that looks. And that's sort of like a purple fuchsia. Really pretty. And I'm going to do that in sort of an outer V. Blended really nice with that brown. Or I should say clay color. That's pretty. I like it. And just to kind of darken it up a little bit more, I'm going to go in with the blue violet. I'm trying to not make this video too long. I'm going to the crease. But I did want to play around with some of these products from the box of charm to show you do like a little first impression I like the combination of that wild orchid and blue violet it's really pretty nice mm -hmm. I could put more on if I wanted sometimes what I do with like makeup brushes just to get that deeper color off I just kind of clean it off, and of course I'll deep clean it like at the end of the week. I think I want to put a little bit of that lighter wild orchid color on my bottom lash line. So take a brush like this. And just go straight across. Straight across. Like that. I don't know where it's like to look there or there, so I'm just kind of looking forward. I'll get used to it. It's a lot simpler to, at least for me, to record off my iPad and I don't have to set up the camera and all that. I used my iPhone for the longest time, but I'm having trouble uploading from or downloading, I don't know the correct terminology, from my phone to my laptop. So using the iPad is much easier. That's pretty. Her colors have nice pigmentation, so I'm really glad that I got another palette of hers. Okay, the next thing on the list is called Pure, he uh, Pure Hill Heels Pore Clear Black Charcoal Cleansing Foam. It comes in a big box. And I might try it. It's by Nature Village. And there's some Asian right in the back, so I would call this like a K-Beauty. I've had luck in the past with uh, clay cleansers. Ooh, that's a big bottle. Uh, um, yeah, it's made in Korea. Pour, uh, pore Clear Black Charcoal Cleansing Foam. I may use it like 
the nose and the chin, but I don't know if I'll use it all over. It might irritate my skin, but if I don't like it, I know a young lady that will. <laughs> my niece likes to get the little stuff that I just won't use or have used and I don't like it. And she's much younger than me, so stay over, Max. So she'll take advantage of it. The next thing that I was excited about getting, and it's not for the company, but it's because I love getting brushes. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is the Morphe. I got this brush. Comes in a cute package like that. Let's open it up. I don't get into all the politics of Morphe and, and you know, the influencers and make palettes and this and that. I just like their their brushes, especially their um their eye uh, shadow brushes. I find them really nice. I think I'm gonna like these. These have a nice little weight on them that the other ones don't. This is one of those slanted for eyeliner. Maybe I'll try that with you. And there's no numbers on them, but I don't care. I use them for whatever I like. This is a nice blending brush. I should actually wash these before I use them. And then this is a small tapered uh, blending brush. And then we have like a flat tapered brush. Very nice design. I think I'm going to enjoy them. In fact, I'm not gonna use this one now because I would prefer to wash these and then use them. Whoa, I'm gonna knock that down. And then the price for that one was is 12, which is really not bad for a four set brush. So is four set, yeah, four piece. And then I forgot to tell you the price for the pure heels is 24, not bad. And the last on the list is the Real Her Definer Brow Pencil. Um, let's see, this is $16, and it's by a company called Real Her. I've never heard of them, but I'm sure to get that light. Let's open it up and see. I don't know what color it is. It doesn't say. It's, it is uh, cruelty-free, which is good. Paraben-free is good. Waterproof is really good. And it's vegan. I'm not vegan, but that's okay. I have eaten vegan food, and it's good, but I just, for me, I like a little bit of meat and fish, especially fish. Vegan food is very flavorful, I think, because they had to make it, you know, flavorful, so I think it would taste bland. But please don't attack me if you're vegan, too. <laughs> If you're a vegan, we have a little vegan restaurant in St. Pete we go to once in a while and never had anything I didn't like, so. And if I can get the box open, it's a problem with these boxes. Sometimes they're just, my fingers are so sensitive from the psoriasis. I've had psoriasis for a number of years now, but it's only attacked my legs. Um... And I have a biologic that I take for it, an oral biologic medication, but they're on back order. And in the meantime, my fingers are just getting, they're, they're very sensitive and ouch. Anyway, regular standard brush, I mean, packaging lines up like that. Another color. Oh, it's like a brown topee brown so let's try it out the cat doesn't really go back on there very good that's see that's a, that's a problem because I'll lose the cap so that would be like a point taken off off if I was uh, doing points on this okay let's see those are nice Nothing that I that I think uh, is spectacular at this moment. It feels whoop. Oh, 
see the tip broke off already I don't like that it I mean I hardly apply any pressure so for first impressions and we will use it again but first impressions I have two marks against this uh, first thing the cap doesn't go on to the bottom so I will lose it secondly as you saw I was just lightly putting a little bit of color in the sparse areas and a little piece of it broke off ah they kind of say themselves with the brush I thought it didn't have one it's a little bit of a darker color than I'm used to I like the um, if I can find it in here I really like the NYX one same sort of packaging. This is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil, and I don't know the color of this. Let me see, let me see. I can't tell, I think it's rubbed off, but if I swatch it, you can see that this is lighter than this. So just for color, I would use this, plus it doesn't break the cap you know, I never tested that. The cap doesn't go back on the bottom. Hmm. I'm surprised I still have it. And I like the spoolie. It's bigger than the other one. So, out of this box, the only thing that I really uh, think is sort of... See, and then it... Okay, the cap for this just fell off in the box. So, the only thing that would be a thumbs down for me thumbs down would be this real her definer brow pencil and yes this is the first time I used it I will try it again but I don't think that it's gonna really go up in my opinion let me oh, try to take that and just as a side note this QMS micro excuse me QMS Medi Cosmetics active glow I like the way it's set on my face I would just put a little bit of powder in the T-zone so that it doesn't get oily. So I like that. I like the Violet Voss and just because the time is going by, I would do my eyes more, but I just kind of wanted to show you the color. So that's one, two things I liked. This is, I don't know if I like it because I haven't tried it. I don't know if it'll be too rough on my sensitive skin, but I'll get back to you in like a likes or not like video. And the Morphe brush side I think is really nice. So not bad. Now, the total price for all of these, if I would buy them individually, would be $193 right there, US dollars. And I only paid $25. I pay 25 every month so I think this box was totally worth it totally <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video I should put a little bit of a lip color on and of course if I was going anywhere I would put eyeliner and mascara, and mascara, <laughs> and I would put some blush on, maybe a little bronzer. But if you look close, I really like, really like this. First impression for this is very high, and I do like Violet Boss. So, so that was this video, this uh, open box of my Boxy Charm. I do think Boxy Charms are worth it. There are some people that don't like it, but you know, that's life. Every, everybody's not meant to agree, and that's fine. But the I've been buying or subscribing to BoxyCharm for probably a year now, maybe a little longer. And I've had maybe one dud box. So I think that, as I play with my hair, that uh, they're worth it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, if you have any videos that you want me to do, um, just list that down below and also I'm going to re-ask today for some questions because I'm going to do a question and answer video 
if you go to my like main page, you, I think you're able to see that I've been doing or have had a YouTube channel for a long time. I think it's like 11 years. I haven't been consistent in the last, let's say five years, but I'm trying to get back on that bandwagon. Uh, so leave me some questions down below, nothing too personal. And if you ask me too personal, I just won't answer it. But mostly everything is, is the open book. Um, and then give me some ideas of what you would like to see me do. And I will see you very soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.